Hola! Thank you for uh, coming to watch the video. It's going to be a short one, but I uh, wanted to share with you uh, some ideas I have around uh, drop rigs and specifically the floats. Um, if you will look at this one, it uh, has seen better days. The crab has definitely had its way with this float. Um, and that's so that's one benefit of what I'm going to show you. Another benefit of what I'm going to show you is a lot of times when uh, you put a float, if you don't use a toothpick to hold it in place, the float will actually move up the rig, allowing your bait to drop down. And when that happens, um, there's a lot of videos out there that show that the pompano will actually hit that float. And if they hit that float and there's no hook there, you're going to lose the fish. Also, if the float's up and the bait's hanging down, a lot of times this bait will be actually in the sand. Um, the whole point of this is that this float stays nice and snug up against that hook so that it presents your bait in a way um, that'll either excite the bite on the float or they'll be able to see. If you've got a flea, it's not down in the sand. If you've got a piece of shrimp, it's not down in the sand, etc. So I've come up with a solution for this. Now I have seen guys that uh, use old flip-flops or flip-flops that they got from the Dollar Tree or whatever. Most important thing about what I'm about to show you, um, have a backer, something soft. I like to use paper. In fact, this is last uh, month's uh, Florida Sportsman. And um, normally I would be on my workbench in the garage and I have a drill that I use this in. This is a standard uh, punch for cutting holes in leather. Um, this is the half inch version because I wanted you to be able to see it well. But I also use the quarter inch version. Um, I especially like the quarter inch version if I'm using sand fleas. Um, I have found that uh, if you've got a big piece of shrimp and a big piece of fish bites or fish gums or something on there, you need to use the half inch size. Um, so I basically take this and this is a nice little cool ratcheting tool. We're just going to cut through it. Now again, when I'm making these um, in the garage, um, this is in a drill and I have a big sheet of this. and. When I say big, I mean it's bigger than this mat that I am videoing on. Um, it's two feet by three feet, I think. Uh, it might even be two by four. Um, but if you think about, if you look at that, that is the total size that I'm cutting out of this. So I can literally get at least a thousand floats out of a single sheet of this. Um, from a cost perspective, it's significantly cheaper. One other thing I'm going to point out, you're going to see me uh, use a little Allen wrench to poke this out. When I'm doing these, um, quickly, like out, you know, under normal circumstances, I don't have to do that. I just keep drilling, drill, 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 and I'll end up with a huge bucket um, of these things when I'm done. So another thing that I do, and I know some of you are going to laugh, um, but I got a handful of colors of different uh, Sharpies. And um, again, when I'm doing this in the garage, I actually put this Sharpie in a holder and then I just rub it um, against it. But for the video, um, I'm working in my office, so I thought I would just do the best I could to show you what I was doing because honestly, the important part is not me coloring on this, but I wanted you to see that the EVA foam will actually take the Sharpie really well. Now, some of you might be asking, how long will that color last? So I have a blood red Sharpie. This floats at least two weeks old. It's been, it's fished, I don't know, 10 days in the last two weeks, maybe a little more. Also, you'll notice I'm tugging on this back and forth. It is still snug on that hook and I can pull it up, bait it, slide that hook back down and there it is. It's not going anywhere. Another cool thing about this, let's say after a few weeks, this float no longer stays on the hook where I want it to stay, right? All you do is you take it off, you run it through sideways and you put this float on there the exact same way that you would put a piece of bait on a hook, right? So now that you've done that, you basically have doubled the life of that float. And so now it's going to stay right where I want it to stay. Now, how well do these things work, All right? So I got a beaker of water here. I've got my Eagle Claw Circle C 2 hook or 2 ot hook right through it. This is the one I just made. Dink a dink. And it's in there. And you can actually see it is staying, it is floating above the water. Now the half inch float is what I use for shrimp, fish gum, fish bites, something that's a little more dense. 
But if I'm using a sand flea and a sand flea only, I actually have smaller float cutters, right? And if I do, if I use this and I'm using sand fleas, and right now that's pretty much all I'm using, but when I'm using sand fleas, I go to this size, and with that size, you double the number of floats that you're gonna get out of that. So, stay humble, stay hungry. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon.